everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcrafts channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! <laughs> your cables you're going to cast on the number that's called for in your pattern here I'm just going to do a couple repeats um, so here um, there's two ways you could do it you could use a hook of course this hook I have is too small for the gauge um, I don't have this is a six and a half millimeter and this is the closest um, needle I have so I'm going to be using the double pointed needle because you want to do it like the same size or preferably a little bit larger so it just doesn't get smaller, lose its shape. So here I've just cast on, I believe it was 24 stitches. So once you have your your um, stitches on there, um, I'm going to go ahead and just um, knit across that first row. Um, I do like knit continental, so if you knit um, English, meaning that the yarn comes out of this hand and then you wrap over, that's the same thing you would do. But here I'm just going to I do it with the yarn on my left hand and I actually think that's easier for people that crochet. So here I'm just going to knit a whole row of um, for the first row. So I just bring in your my needle from left to right just like that. Then I'm going to grab my yarn and then you just slide off that stitch. I'm just going to continue that all the way across. So I just have one um, one row of um, knit all the way across and then we'll come back and start doing the second row. I'm going to repeat I'm just going to do the first uh, like maybe three or four rows to get the base. So here the first row then you're going to do all the way across knitting and then when I turn it around the second row then that's when you would do some of them would be knitted and some of them would be purled. It's important that you have um, some um, like uh, stitches that separate it. Here I'm just going to have the separating stitches be a garter stitch so that the cables will pop out and the cables will be all done in a knit stitch. Okay I'm coming to my last stitch so I'm going to go ahead and knit that stitch and now I turn my work over. Now here when you're working in the in rows you're going to start shaping the actual um, different stitches here if you're working in the round, it's different because here, how I started all with knit stitches, if you're working in the round, you're actually going to start doing whatever pattern you have. Like here, okay, here's my stitch marker, and you would need a stitch marker to keep track of your rounds. So here I knew that I was just going to have four of knit, four of purl, so then I would just do four knit, four purl, four knit, four purl, or whatever your pattern is. And so then when you continue, you knit the knitted stitches, you purl the purl stitches, or whatever stitch you have in there, and you continue all the way around because you're not flipping your work back and forth. So I think this is actually kind of easier. So here now, I know that I'm going to be separating with four um, garter stitches, and then four purl, four garter, four purl, four garter. So the garter is created just by knitting every single row, every side. So here I know that the first four stitches I'm going to knit, but on the next four I want to start creating this cable, which is a knitted stitch on the other side. So to create this I cannot do knit it all the way across because all I'll get is a garter stitch. So here you're going to follow your pattern. So here I'm going to go ahead and knit my first four. One, two, three, and four. Now I know that that's creating the pattern. When I'm here on my next four, I need to create the knit on the reverse side. So here it means that I need to purl on the next four to give me the knit stitch on the reverse side. So here I'm going to bring my yarn forward because when you purl you bring the yarn forward. Um, I'm doing continental. If you're doing right, then you would put it the other way. I'm going to go for, insert my needle from right to left, opposite of when I knit. Wrap my yarn over, pull it over, and then slip it off. So that's one. And people have different styles of doing it, too. I think it's harder when you're trying to go super slow. Three. And 
four. Now right now I'm going to go ahead and show you the other side. It's You won't be able to see it yet because it's so small, but maybe you can. You're starting to get the feeling, see how this is a garter, and now you can see that little knit stitch created on the reverse. And the cables, when they're um, done, they only have, uh, they have the right side and the wrong side, meaning that the design only shows on one side. Um, so here I did my first four knitted, four, four purl, and then my next four are going to be a garter stitch, so I just knit one, two, three, and you would repeat that if you only had like two strands, four strands, six strands, whatever it is. So here, when I said that this is only a right side, this is the right side. If I flip it over, this is the wrong side. You can't see any design. You can see the indentations. That's where the cables are being worked. So here, I did four knitted, one, two, three, four, four purl, one, two, three, four. Four knitted, one, two, three, four, and are going to be purled to create the cable one, two, three, and four. My last four stitches are going to be knitted because they're my pearl, my um, garter stitch. So here is one, two, three, and remember you'll work whatever stitch they tell you to. So now this is, that was row two. Row one was all knitted. I'm going to flip it over. So now for the next few rows, we're going to repeat row one and two. So here for row, uh, this is going to be row three. I'm just going to knit all the way across. I want you to repeat rows one and two until you have uh, six rows. But remember on this side, um, on your odd rows it's all going to be knit and then the even rows is where you're going to be turning your work back and then working your four knit, four purl, four knit, four purl, and four knit and then um, it helps if you have a little counter here to keep track of your um, rows. I'm going to do six rows and then I'll come back and then we'll start working our cables. As you can see here now you can kind of see where it's creating the this uh, garter stitch and then the knit stitches there. Can you see that? That's what's going to be our cables. Okay, I did a few rows now and we're going to get ready to start working the cables. So here um, when you do the cables, there's different uh, tools you can use. You can use things like a hook. This is really my uh, favorite one to use. However, it's too small for the needle I'm using. And you want to get it as close to the needle size or maybe one size larger, the cable you're using. There's some that are shaped like this, regular hooks. So since I'm using a 6.5 millimeter needle, which is the size 10 and a half. I'm going to use my double pointed needle. This one is the closest I have, which is six millimeter. It ideally should be a size larger, but hopefully it'll work. And basically then that is going to be holding the stitches uh, while I create my cables. So here the cables are going to be created over the knit stitches here, not over the garter stitch. So here I'm going to do just my regular knit stitches on the first four because I'm just creating a garter stitch there. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now here I have four knit stitches. I'm going to be, you, you're going to be separating them two and two. So here what I do um, is I'm going to be using this um, a needle. Uh, usually I would use a different hook, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to slip these off onto my needle, being careful not to twist the strand. I don't want to twist it because I don't want to change the direction that that loop is going in, which is right now it's going like a like if it was going to be knit. Now, if you um, if you hold the 
the stitches that are on the cable needle or the hook needle, if you set, hold them forward in front of the work, and you're going to be working here, then your cable is going to start twisting or leaning to the left, okay? So if you want cables that go to the left, it's going to be that. And your pattern will tell you which way it's going to go. If you want them, if you want it to lean to the right, then you would put your work to the back, bring all your yarn and everything to the front, you would work your next stitches and then the ones on the cable stitch, when it's to the back, your cables are going to lean to the right, okay? So for right now, I'm going to put these to the front so that they can match. What I mean by the left is these are leaning to the left. If you want them to lean the other way, then you would put your work to the back. I'm going to bring that work to the front right now, okay? And I'm going to work my next two stitches, which are knit stitches just like if this was in there. I'm not even going to work. Put the yarn to the back, knit my first two, one and two. Okay. If you find it easier to not work off of this needle, you could slip them back onto that same needle, then knit them. Being careful not to twist the yarn. That's really important. I just knit them right off of that needle. Just slide it down. It's a double pointed needle. So then I knit my next two, one. But if you want to slip it back on there, you can, two. Okay. So now I've done my first cable twist. Kind of hard to see right now, but it's actually twisting to the left. Right there. And then now I'm just going to knit the next four because I'm doing the garter stitch. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on my next to my next cable repeat. So here's knit four, one, two, three, because I'm just separating it with the garter stitch. And you're going to follow the instructions of whatever your pattern was. Um, you'll need something to separate it. I'm going to do the same thing here without twisting it. What I mean by twisting it is I don't want to take it and turn it around. I'm just going to slip it right off. Like, and it's hard to see, but the yarn is actually turn, um, angled at a certain direction. So here I'm going to bring it back to the front. I'm going to knit my next two knit stitches. See. One. Just ignore that little stick. That little double pointed <laughs> needle. And now once I've done those, now I'm going to bring this back. You can slip it right back onto that needle. I'm just going to do it right off of that double pointed needle. One. And two. And I think the just not slipping it off again, it helps prevent the possibility of the yarn getting twisted. And now I just knit my last four because I'm doing a garter stitch. One, two, three, and four. Now I want to do, this is my turning, my yarn. Let me see if I could show it to you. You could see where it's starting to twist. So now what I'm going to do here until I have six rows, I'm going to work the same thing I did before. Turning my work, so this will be my first row or whatever way you want to count it. Now I'm going to do my four knit, four purl, four knit, four purl, four knit to keep that design going because I want to keep doing this. And then when I turn it back, my next row is just going to be knit all the way across. I'm going to continue that until I've worked six rows. Then I could come back and do my cable again. You continue that all the way um, across. It's important, remember, when you're turning your work over, that you continue that same pattern. So I want to make sure that my second four stitches have a purl stitch so that it's actually creating um, a knit stitch on the other side. So here I'm just going to knit because it's just a garter stitch. Three and four. And then my next four. I'm going to purl them to keep that shape of the cable. The knit stitch on the other side, one, two, and it's going to feel a little tight because it's got that twist on there. Three, and four. Now my next four, I just knitted. One, two, three, and four. Now I purl my next four just like if I, the same thing I did before. 
I'm keeping that design. That's a little tight there because I that's where the cable had twisted over. One. And then I kind of knit kind of tight. I try not to, but two, three, and fourth purl. Now I'm going to knit the last four because they're just a garter stitch. One. Let's scoop these over here. Two, three, and oops, I split the yarn there. Three, and four. Now I could just turn my work over. Now this side, it's all going to be knit because remember we did the same thing here. So that's how you're going to repeat. You're going to repeat the previous row and this row until I have six um, rows. So that I'm going to be working right now on my second row. It's easier to keep track here so I know that this is my second row. When I finish that I'll move my stitch marker. I'm going to do a few more repeats but that's basically all you're doing here when you're working in rows, meaning back and forth, you're going to be turning your work over. When you're working in rounds, like here, you would be casting on the number of stitches that you need. You're going to be using a, a stitch marker or something to keep track um, of your rounds. But here it's a little bit different. If you could see here, this is where my, um, my round actually started. And so when I saw the pattern, it said knit four purl four and it's a repeat to the end okay so here in this thing we're not going to be turning our work so we're just going to be knitting the knitted stitches these were knitted and then we're purling the purl stitches so it's creating that division that spacing and then once I had done several rows whatever the row the pattern called me asked for then it asked me to do my cable so here I did my first two stitches on the hook brought them forward did the two stitches and brought that stitch back those stitches that were on the hook back finished knitting those and then went back and did my pearls then did the same thing here so you could tell that this is just kind of like something improvising that I'm making because um, it's the variated yarn so you can't see um, the cables that much but um, it's like a ribbing for a little child's hat so here then of course when you're doing this the round there's no turning the work back and forth so you're just knitting the knit purling the purl that's what they say on the round when you're working in rows you are flipping your work back and forth so one side here will be all knitted the back side then you create the your stitches um, in my case it was purl, knitting the first four purling the next four knitting the next purling the next four knitting uh, I mean knitting purling knitting so you just have to follow the pattern some of them will give you, you know, you're going to be working with six strands, so it will be two. Here we're working with two on either side for a total of four. I use four stitches as separation, but a lot of patterns you might have, you know, two stitches. Usually it's at least two stitches. So you're going to follow the pattern. This one I did with uh, medium weight yarn, and I think it was like a size six uh, needle. So here is the same thing that is happening here this is just twisting but you can see the difference uh, here I had one two three four five six seven I think I had either six I think I had six stitches on either side and then the four here so that this was for a scarf so here part of the pattern is just on that medium weight and for this I was able to use this hook because it was the right size see the difference in the weight of the yarn so this is a bulky and this is a medium weight you can just see the different size just in the weight and the yarn the needle size so this is all you do I'm gonna do um, a cable uh, course I want I'm working on a course for doing cables and it will show you step by step with different stitches or different um, shape you know uh, with double cables a little bit more intricate if you're interested in signing up for that course or to be notified please fill out the survey that I will put um, and then it also has other questions for you guys to fill out and then that way you can uh, get notified when those courses are available and everyone who fills out the survey I'm going to send you a gift so I hope you'll help me out I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so if you liked it please give a thumbs up if you have questions you could put them in the box below um, and I know that it's a little confusing but this is just a garter stitch remember follow the instructions for your pattern here the goal of this video was just to teach you how 
to work the cable this wasn't the focus of the video this was so i hope you enjoy it have a great day and remember always that god loves you